This video is intended for those just getting started with React. We at Eureka have carefully chosen the best information to make learning easier. Hey everyone, this is Tejashwini from Edureka and I welcome you all to the session. In today's session, we'll look into the most trending technology that is React.js. And here I will be sharing you the full guide of how to become a React developer. Learning JavaScript libraries and frameworks can be overwhelming. There are many libraries to choose from and no proper step-by-step -step guide that will teach you how to use this library to their fullest potential. That's why in this video, you will learn the most popular JavaScript library used by hundreds and thousands of developers. And now this guide covers the complete React.js roadmap and prerequisites that are essential for React.js. Followed by, we will also look into some of the React.js concepts that you need to learn when you're starting with React.js. And finally, we will see some of the project ideas that you can build, deploy and put in your portfolio to get a job. Before jumping into the roadmap, let's see the introduction to React.js. React.js is a front-end JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It was developed by Facebook and maintained by Facebook and has an open source community. React.js is an impressive library that is easy to understand and has an excellent cross-platform support. And it is one of the most loved libraries out there. There are also two great React.js competitors that is Vue.js and AngularJS. These libraries and frameworks are mainly used to create fast and efficient single page applications. Although these are great technologies, but take a look at the Google Trends. We can clearly see that the React.js is still in the leading by far. Now we will look into the prerequisites. You might be wondering what are the prerequisites to learn such a great JavaScript library. There are quite important prerequisites that you must follow. The first thing you should have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Then you need to install and have a basic knowledge of Node Package Manager that is NPM and to practice and implement the code you need to have a code editor. Without implementing it into a practical way you will not understand any topic in coding no matter what language you wish to learn. And finally, the most important prerequisite that you must have is consistency in learning. Do not jump straight into the React.js roadmap without understanding the React.js concepts. Before learning React, you should have a good understanding of these JavaScript topics. That you must know some of the basic syntax that you will use in the JavaScript. Just have an idea of ES6 plus features, arrow functions and template literals. After that, understand the spread operator, await syntax and import and export syntaxes. And also you must know array methods, object property shorting, destructuring and rest operator. Once you understand with the JavaScript topics, then we will see the basic things that we need to learn in the React.js. First, understand the file and folder structure. And you all know that React is made up of components. So you need to have a deeper understanding in components, JSX, props, state, events, styling and conditional rendering. So these are all the most important concepts that you need to understand. Now we will look into some of the essential hooks to learn. So here we have listed few hooks such as use state, use effect, use ref, use context, use reducer, use memo, use callback. So once you are completed with the hooks, we will move on to the actual roadmap here. Now let's learn some of the React.js UI frameworks. You can consider learning Material UI and Design, Chakra UI, React Bootstrap, Ribbus, Blueprint, Semantic UI React. 
So these are all the most important and useful React JS UI frameworks that you can consider. Now in this material UI and design and chakra UI are some of the most important frameworks that you can learn. After this, let's move on to some of the React JS packages. Here we have some of the most popular React JS packages that you can use and practice with it. Like React Router, React Query, Axios, React Hook Form, Style Components, Storybook, and Framer Motion. Now let's learn how to manage state with state management tools. So here we have some of the state management tools like Redux, Mobex, Hook State, Recoil, and Akita. After learning React JS fundamentals, now you can consider learning Next JS also. Here are the some of the important things that you can learn in Next JS, like file and folder structure that we have learned before also, and you can also see what is static site generations and server side rendering and also have a look at incremental static regenerations dynamic pages css or sass modules lazy loading modules api routers so you can also consider learning these so once you have completed the fundamentals now once we complete with the fundamentals concepts of react js now imagine you have created react.js applications using these fundamentals and concepts that we have discussed here. Now the next step that we have to follow is testing your react application, right? For this you can consider these few testing tools like Jest, Testing Library, Cryptpress, Enzyme, Jasmine and Mocha. After you test your react applications with these tools, and your react application is qualified without any errors then you can consider deploying it right so here we have some of the deploying platforms like netlify versal firebase github pages heroku and render using these platforms you can easily host or deploy your react js applications Finally, we have some of the project ideas that you can implement using these roadmap. Here we are just giving you few examples and you can create your own ideas too. Here for example, you can create some real estate apps, travel companion apps, e-commerce websites, voice assistant news apps, portfolio websites, budget tracker, chat apps, video chat apps and you can also clone some of the existing apps too like Uber, Swiggy, anything you wish like. Now what if I tell you everything we saw on the roadmap is in our fingertips if you follow a single path. You're right. Edureka's React.js certification course covers every topic that we saw in the roadmap. Now I will just show you how to download the curriculum to check yourself. Now I have here the Edureka's official page. So just type edureka.co and you will reach here and just sign up by giving your credentials. Sign up, create your own password and you can search for React.js. Click on the first link, you will reach here and you can download the curriculum here. Download curriculum. And here you can see about Edureka and about courses and about React with Redux course. And what will you learn in this course? Who should go for this training? So as I mentioned in the prerequisites here, HTML, CSS and basic knowledge of JavaScript is required. And you can see what are the objectives of our React with Redux course training. So you can go through this document and have a clear idea and followed by here we'll start with the introduction of web development and react here we have mentioned the topics and you can compare this document with the react roadmap that we just saw therefore there is no need for you to search elsewhere when you can find everything in one single course that we provide you
that's all from my end if you are looking to advance your career and understand the concepts and technologies that top self employers are looking for then this is the best opportunity for you to enroll with edureka if you have any queries then comment down below until then happy learning